Hello, Rick to new video. Today, we're going to take a look at Breaking Swipes are a crazy again. We already took a look at the Master League version of this, the Ultra League version of this, and now we're going to take a look at the Great League version of this. And yes, a Great League Great Crazy is possible. It's very difficult to obtain. And basically, I think there was a one time where you were able to get one, I think, with Hurricane as a special move from a quest. And this one was level 15, which is still way too high for the CP cap. And then you were able to trade it with someone else. And they were they had to be basically the lowest friendship level as well. There were only a few IV spurts that are actually below the 1500 CP. And actually, this is my Rayquaza. This is my Rayquaza I got from the quest. I traded away to, of course, the trader that's featured here um, at the regional in Bremen last year. And they got a 1500 CP on the dot with nearly the best possible IVs here as well. This is, I think, a rank 3 with those IVs that are possible at, le at level 15. Like, of course, you could also have like 115, 15 or something, but you would need a lower level for that. So, this is one of the best possible IV right crazers. And we're going to be able to take a look at this today. We're going to see our Deoxys coming in here. We have still the Hurricane, which is going to be a nuke move. See how much damage the Dragon Tail does here. This is insane. This is going to be a very very, very glassy Pokemon, of course, as well, but still a double resisted, uh, double resisted, a double debuffed Psycho Boost. There will not be an issue as the Hurricane going to hit here, and we can say goodbye to the opponents, the Oxus here. This Pokemon itself looks really good in the Horn Cup right now, as we're going to be able to see in the matchup against the Sableye in the lead. Um, they can go straight for the Zepkin, and I think that's going to be a pretty okayish matchup. She in the first one is okay. Um, this, the player itself said that they are not the best in Go Battle League, but they're still not that worst either. Like, they are already in, like, Ace rank or whatever, so it's not the worst. We see here the Swampert coming in, which is a perfect matchup. As we can see that the Breaking Swipe is going to be able to debuff them or knock them out. Let's see, it's going to not even knock them out yet. It's going to only debuff them and get them close to the knockout. Stutch Rave still going to be able to take that after the debuff, which is amazing. You can go into your Sableye now. I would have went to my Sableye now because um, you won't be having a great time farming this down here. I guess you can try to get some energy, but you're going to go ahead and go straight for the Focus Burst here, which is fine. You know, maybe get the shield here. You do get the shield here. Now you're going to swap into the Sableye as we face off against a Shadow Shiftry in the back there. Shadow Shiny Shiftry, I think, as well, which is going to take still a lot of damage from your um, charge moves from the Sableye, but Leaf Blade going to hurt here a lot as you kind of are forced to nearly try to farm all the way down. I don't know if this is even possible here. Leaf Blade coming through. You're going to throw a charge move here. Maybe it's actually not the worst play to throw the charge move here either. Actually, I don't mind. Like, I think that's a decent play. I think you can farm down with your Reggie Steel now. Because um, both Pokemon don't really have a lot of help. But I can yeah, the um, Sableye is healthy still as a move start. This won't be a win here. As this will knock them out after a few more Shadow Claws. And still a very close one there. Shiftry also a cool Pokemon to use in this meta. A little bit risky for those counter users, but still, there are not a lot of counter users uh, like in there really. Like you see, sometimes the Deoxys defense, which is still going to get super effective damage from foul play. But um, also, you see sometimes the Medicham, which is not as common because of all those Sableyes that are running around here. You see the Warring coming in here, going to most likely have a better match up against you. I actually wonder if you can win this in the two shield scenario because you do more damage with your fast move compared to what the opponent does to you. But it's going to be a close one. You could try to, to realign here, but you're going to let this move go through. Isaac is going to knock you out. You can lock on them down here, actually. And you're going to do that, which is the right play. They might actually hit you with an Earthquake, which is not the worst play. But you're actually going to be able to catch it here on the Rayquaza. That's amazing. What a catch there. And they're even going to swap out, which is even better for you. You will be able to win CMP there. Should have, you should have went for the um, Breaking Swipes immediately, in my opinion. But... Um, you will be able to get to another one here, which will be able to knock out the opponent as well. Rayquaza going to go to town here. We'll be able to go for another breaking swipe as well, trying to debuff the opponent. Maybe get the shield. Let's see. We're going to get the damage on the opponent, but this is looking very good for you. You can go for the Zap Cannon here, forcing the final shield. They are in Zap Cannon range already. You most likely would be able to lock on them down with the um, remaining health from the War Rain. You can take a move here easily. They're debuffed as well. Look how little Thunderbolt did here, and they're going to anticipate the catch amazing play there as well going to be able to go for the uh, zap cannon and knocking out the opponents right away here good game there next opponent we see reggie steel against reggie steel this is a matchup that's very commonly seen here in the lead reggie steel is one of the best leads in this meta right now 
especially because you can pair it so well with Pokemon in the back. This is like the thing with the Sableye as a say swap now. Registeel is just a perfect um, fit with the, uh, with the Sableye there and you have a lot of Pokemon in the back like the Rayquaza, like the Altaria, like the Pelipper, like the Tropius. They all can function well in the combination with the Steel, making it a very good duo. We see the Sableye coming in from the opponent. Very nice catch by the way on that Focus Blast as this foul play going to come through, going to do some nice damage and the opponent is forced to throw, which you could let go, but yeah, okay, you're going to let this move go through and you will be able to go into your, I guess, Ray Crazer trying to farm all the way down. You actually farm down before they can get to a move? No, you cannot. That was pretty close. I actually wonder if the, you would have been able to do, heck, it's, it's, it's kind of very, very close one there. We see the uh, breaking swipe coming through now. Um, maybe you can try to catch the Zapkin, but it's going to be a close one. Yeah, you're gonna go ahead, go into four years Zapkin as well with the Reggie Steel, expecting a shield from the opponent, which was a smart play, but sadly you didn't get the debuff. Still, you should be able to outspeed them afterwards. This focus burst is coming through here, and you can go for another one in time, knocking them out. It's very likely that they're going to have Altaria in the back here. Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be a Pelipper. Okay, it's not an Altaria, but it's also the best one they have to throw against you. I actually, don't, I actually think they could have farmed you down though. Um, and you can go ahead and go for a breaking swipe here, but they're going to be able to hit their weather ball first. Let's see how much damage it's going to do here. A lot of damage coming through. I don't think that this breaking swipe is enough, but let's take a look at this. It is just barely not, and you're going to go down there. I think one more fast move might have been enough to knock them out, but still, good game. Horrible lead here, you, like, at least I would usually stay in for a little bit and let them, like, throw a power punch, but sometimes they have dynamic punch. Horrific Pokemon in the back there as well to face with, with the Linoon, which is one of the worst matchups for the Sableye. It's actually still not a bad matchup, but like Sableye doesn't really have bad matchups anyway. So here you're going to actually get the shield advantage, which I would just take as well. I would just let this move go through and also just let them farm you down there because you actually were so close to getting another charge move off. Um, but you can go into your Reggie Steel now. Unless they have Dig, you're going to be able to have a pretty decent time here. Thunder is still going to do some nice damage, of course, but we see the Manichem coming back in here now. You can go ahead and go for the Breaking Swipe spam, and with a shield advantage, you're definitely going to be able to win this matchup against the opponent's Manichem. Breaking Swipe coming through here, you might be even able to bank one afterwards. Let's see, you can farm them down after and at this range, basically. Exactly what you're going to do here, which is a good play as well. Ice Punch would, of course, knock you directly out of here, but we were mostly going to see the Linoon coming back in now. Linoon going to... Actually, no, it's going to be the Sableye. You're going to go for two Breaking Swipes, which I think is the right play, as they might going to shield this move up. They do not. They're going... I should have thrown the other one as well, I think. Should have thrown the other one as well. But if you get a shield here somewhere, you might be fine again. But I think the Sableye... Oh, you're going to get the shield here. This is amazing now. You just have to knock out the opponent here. And I think you're going to be able to do this. And the breaking swipe that you stored should be enough to knock out the opponent. Like, the opponent should have let this move go through before already. Um, and now you definitely are very good spot because breaking swipe will knock them out and we see here now finally the array crazer finishing that sable eye easy peasy good game there next opponent coming in now let's see we're going to see the red here against altaria pretty decent matchup for you something that you can of course stay in and we see the swamp coming in and we're going to see the breaking swipe coming through now as well before they even throw that charge move of course and it's going to get shielded and they're going to go for their own charge move, which is going to be hydrokin as far as i can see that Shouldn't have shielded that, but still going to be okay for you. Can let this next move go through. It is fine. You had to shield one anyway, so it doesn't matter as they're going to, um, yeah, go ahead and go down there. We're going to see now the opponent going in with the Altaria. You can go for another breaking swipe, allowing you to do some nice damage against them. Super effective, does half of their health, putting them super low as well. And we can see now the opponent going to the Reggie Steel. You should have stayed in there, I think, and went for one charge move first and then swapped out, but it's not a big. Uh, issue here either like you can just go ahead and go into your saber you can even take one shot move, as you can do here right now and the zap can doesn't knock you out you don't even get the debuff which is amazing because this allows you now to go for another charge move knocking out the reggie steel and this going to be able to yeah knock them straight out you can even go for a foul play this is amazing this is a game over already there's nothing the opponent can do anymore they're going to let this move go through as well and this was a very nice showcase for the ray crazer as well next opponent we see the vigoroth coming in here you're going to stay in here and go for the focus blast definitely something that you can do now you should go into your sable eye because this will be able to take the moves better you try to catch the boulders i respect that but body slam going to hurt you like a lot um, you can, I guess, shield one more time and try to throw your charge move afterwards, but I don't know if it does enough damage to knock out the opponent's Vigoroth here in time. Let's see. This breaking swipe. Gonna get shielded, though. 
You're actually going to be able to shield up. Oh, never mind. They, they, they completely underestimate your energy gain. This is amazing. You win this with like 1 HP here. Goodbye, Vigoroth. Let's see what's coming in now. We're going to see the Medicham. You can realign. This is amazing for you. This basically seals the deal already. As you can go ahead and go for one Zap Cannon. Now, this is going to put them into range for one foul play. You're just going to save the shield for the, um, what's called, for the Saber there. And you're going to have a great time here. Even though, especially, I think you can st just still get to another charge move here. This Moonblast doesn't do enough damage because they got debuffed. And you can actually, yeah, they're going to actually forfeit there as well. They don't really want to play it out anymore. Good game there. Next up, going to be the Pelipper, and this Pelipper will not have a great time against the Raichi Steel. Sableye coming in, staying in here is fine. Going for the Zapkin is also fine, as this one will hopefully um, do a ton of damage against the opponent. Zapkin coming through now. Let's see what it's going to do. It's going to do some nice damage, as we can see that it actually goes through and you can farm them all the way down. In comes now the Pelipper again. You can use the Breaking Swipe again to debuff the opponent's attack. They have to go for a Hurricane to really threaten your health, but they are not getting their timey show thrown immediately there, I think. Because now you kind of have to force yourself to yeah, use a shield there. They can go for another move. You should be able to survive it. You're going to still shield. It's fine, though. Um, you can go ahead and you can actually go for the Hurricane now against the opponent's Medicham. Is this going through? It's not coming through, but you can realign and this doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, this is going to be a good game there. This Medicham will only go for the Ice Punch and there's nothing they can do about this anymore. Foul play going to knock them straight out. You're going to double up, which is fine because this allows you definitely to go for a move against the opponent's Pelipper as well now. And this should be a clear good game there. Very nice played, and we can go into the next one after this Pelipper gonna go down here. Next game coming up, we're going to see here the Registeel against a Warren. Pretty decent one for you, let's see what they're coming into. They're going to stay in actually, and you can go ahead and go for the Zap Cannon, I guess. Gonna do a ton of damage here, Earthquake doesn't really threaten you too much, and you're going to be able to even hit it, catch the move on the Sableye, which is pretty decent because the Earthquake definitely doesn't do a lot of damage here. And you will be able to still do some damage against the opponent's Altaria. Cove tried to go for the return here, but this foul play already going to put them into range for your Reggie Steel and the extra energy they're, ga they're gathering here. Don't doesn't really help you too much or like the opponent too much because like it's going to go up against a Reggie Steel, which is going to resist all the charge moves here. Reggie Steel's main issue there is like the fast move Dragon Breath because it just adds out after a while. But the charge moves itself, they don't really do a lot of damage here and you can just go ahead and knock them hopefully out. But you're going to go ahead and go into the Red Razor. This can be a risky play depending on what they have in the back, but I actually don't mind this play. And they're actually going to see here that it's going to be the Swampert they're going to catch on the Warren. But you still should be fine here as you can go ahead and go just for the fast move pressure as well. The fast move pressure is insane here. Going to be able to shield up one Hydro Cannon. You still have a shield left. You're going to shield up the next one as well. But you see how much like the health goes down from the opponent. I think you can just farm all the way down here. I don't know. I don't know if you actually have to throw the uh, charge moves here as well. But um, you can go ahead and go for the double debuff there, which puts basically the Hydro Cannon into a range where it like doesn't do anything. They're going to let this move go through as well. And that's going to be a good game. Next opponent, let's see, we're going to see an Altaria here. Altaria going to do some uh, pretty decent damage still against you. I think I actually still win in the two shield, but okay, they decide to forfeit immediately after seeing the right Kraza, understandable. Next game, we're going to see the Reggie Steel against you, which is going to be a very neutral matchup, of course. The um, CP, the CP, the IV usually depend on this matchup there. If you have higher attack than the opponent, you're going to be able to win CMP and win this in the two shields most likely. But a lot of people also go for the Zap Cannon first. Those were just two focus bursts go straight at each other as we're going to see that you're going to try to catch the move. They're going to try to catch the move. This has happened to me before as well. It was a kind of funny scenario, but... Um, here, this foul play going to do some decent damage against the opponent. We see yourself going to let the move go through as well. You can just go ahead and mirror whatever the opponent does here. And as you win the CMP here, you can force the opponent to throw a shield up here as well, or you can realign. You're going to be able to throw the shield, like let them throw the shield up. You can go into your Reggie Steel, lock on them down. And um, as they're most likely going to have the Atari in the back, they might go into their own Reggie Steel. No, they're going to have the Medicham in the back. Can we see the Hurricane hit? That's going to be an interesting one because I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get there. Let's see Ice Punch coming through. Can you get to the Hurricane? Oh, you cannot. You're going to go for the Breaking Swipe first. That's kind of sad because this might lose you the match now. You, your damage should have went through there, by the way. And the damage definitely it doesn't matter a lot because now you cannot lock on them down. You should have won this game. Like, this game is definitely um, something that you should have won. And I think you're just going to 
End the recording here, this is not on my part, this is just the recording that I got, but I think yeah, you're going to lose the medal here, but you still won it because the yeah, damage sure went through from the drank here still, but still, thanks for letting me showcase those spells, it was highly interesting to see how I are doing some stuff in the Great League meta. Um, thanks for watching, see you next video, have a great rest of your day, and leave a like if you haven't already, bye!